Welcome back everybody to another tutorial video where today we will be doing the temperature test on the Ibex furnace. First, a few tools we need include a AA battery, some silver wire, a micrometer, and a pin or dental pick. You can get silver wire wherever you want to get it or you can order some from us and we will send you 10 pieces that have been pre-cut and pre-shaped. If you are cutting your own silver wire, you will need a pair of wire cutters as well as a pair of pliers. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is take your micrometers and set it to two and a half inches. Once you have it set, go ahead and take your silver wire as well as your pair of pliers. You want to move the silver wire from how it's locked up and use one hand to hold one end and the other hand to use the pair of pliers and pulling on the silver wire to straighten it out as I do so right here. If your grip isn't strong enough, you can use another pair of pliers to do the exact same thing. Next, you want to take your silver wire and line it up with the end of the micrometers, where the end is touching one side, and the other end you snip off with the wire cutters. And there you have your 2.5 inch length. Alright, the next step is to shape your silver wire. In this clip, I show the different diameters of objects that you may have laying around your office that would work for this step. So the most common is a battery. It's roughly 0.55 inches in diameter, which is just fine. Another thing, if you uh, use pressing ingots, if you have a Ivoclar Emacs pressing tube, it's roughly 0.55 as well. The thing that we use the most of is this capacitor right here, which is 0.51, which is a little smaller than the battery, but the battery and the tube of Ivoclar ingots work just fine. And so I'm going to go ahead and wrap my silver wire around this battery to show you how to do it. So what you're going to want to do is try and make a U shape that is uneven. So what I mean by that is one leg is a longer than the other roughly like that and so after you bend it you can do a little minor modifications which is like bending it with your hands without anything on it but that's roughly what it what you want it to look like all right now i'm going to show you how to put the silver wire into the brick go ahead and get your pin or dental pick as well as your brick find the center of your brick and then make a indention or a point on either side just slightly over from the middle so there you can see my two holes that I've already made so I'm gonna go back to the middle and go slightly outwards and just poke a hole you only have to go about 1 16th of an inch deep you do not have to go deep at all so next pick up your silver wire as well as your brick and go ahead and insert the longer end of the silver wire into the hole that you just made in your brick like I'm doing right now. Once set in, you can press a little firmer to make sure it sits in and does not move too much. If it spins around, that's fine, but you can adjust it and swivel it so that the top of the silver wire is in the center of the brick, as I am adjusting right now. So as you can see, it is in the center, and when you tilt it over, you will be able to see that the one end is stuck in the brick where the other end is just ever so slightly above the surface. All right, now go to your furnace with your brick that has a silver wire in it and go ahead and set the brick on the plate. Once set, spin it around, make sure that it is not tipping over or falling over uh, in any way and then go to your porcelain and then scroll down to program 79 it will look a little bit like this so once you've found the program go ahead and select it and click run and once your furnace has reached the starting temperature it will go ahead and move the door upwards and start the program So. As the door hits the very top and hits the upper limit switch, the program will begin. So as the program completes, like any other program, the door will start to come down and you will see uh, what you just cooked or melted in this case. And so what you want to look to see is how your silver melted. 
and it will be in one of three different states. So first you have your two extremes, the far left and the far right. The far left means your furnace is too cold and the silver didn't melt at all, so you need to raise your temperature. The second extreme being the far right, where your, temp where your furnace is too hot and it melted the silver too much, either melting it in half or pieces or made it fuse together, like it did in this picture. Your last one is the example in the middle where your silver melted absolutely perfectly. You have a small bead of silver on your short end of the U and nothing happened on the long end and the top is melted just ever so slightly. So to check to see how your silver melted, grab a pair of pliers and grab the end of the silver that is stuck in the brick since the furnace will still be hot and you don't want to burn yourself. Check to see how your silver melted and compare it to the photo from before to see if you need to lower the temperature or raise it. Alright, now to get to the temperature calibration screen, simply hit the cancel button, click on utilities, click on calibrate, and then click on the temperature tab. Once here, this is how you adjust your temperature offset, whether you need to raise the temperature or lower the temperature. To do that, simply click on the box in the center where you see the negative one at the moment, and it will wipe that number out, and then you can click on any of the numbers on the side, let's say five for example, and it will enter that temperature in. So if you need to lower the temperature or put it into the negative, you simply click on your positive value and then hit on the negative button which makes your number negative now. So now let's go over a few different scenarios so that we can better understand how to adjust the temperature. So let's say you start at positive one and your silver wire does not melt at all. As a general rule, you want to raise or lower the temperature in intervals of three. So one plus three would be four. So you're gonna go ahead and hit the, click on the box and enter the positive four value. Then restart the test because your silver wire didn't melt at all. You don't need to change that and you can just begin the test again. So here's another scenario. What if you start at positive two and your silver wire melts in half? Again, lower it in intervals of three. So two minus three would be negative one. So you'd click on your positive one value and click on the negative symbol to make it negative one. You will need to use a new piece of wire this time because you need to reset the wire because yours is in half now. Alright, so let's put this picture back up for our last scenario. Let's say your temperature is at zero and after the um, calibration test it melts perfectly. So it is that middle piece of wire right there. So you don't need to do anything else at that point. You can go ahead and exit back to the main menu and begin using your furnace again because your temperature is already calibrated and there's really nothing else you need to do to it. So you're good there. All right, if you have any further questions, I will leave our contact information in the description. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to be notified of when we post more videos. And thank you very much for watching. Adios.